Last month, Johnson County Animal Shelter revealed that as the season transitions into spring, shelters become overcrowded due to families surrendering animals. In recent weeks, the shelter has increased pet space. However, help is still needed. Of course, the, the last time we spoke, um, the shelter was, uh, we, were, we were over capacity, honestly, um, because we do have 32 kennels in, inside, particularly for our dogs. Um, and, you and you like to keep those numbers a little lower than your 32 kennels because you have to be able to clean adequately. And, and when you're full, it is hard to do that um, and care for your animals when you have limited uh, staff, which is very limited. Um, and volunteers, but um, I'm happy to say that we've been able to get those numbers down somewhat. Um, we just had, um, we had seven go out, and that means going to transport, uh, leaving on transport, which opened up some kennels. Um, I have five that will be leaving in the next, uh, should be in the next week, that have been adopted, so they're, they've already been adopted, so they're going straight into adoptive homes, which is excellent. Um, so that is a very positive thing. At Pikeville Medical Center, we believe that together we can make a difference in the fight against cancer. We are proud to have patients who have experienced successful outcomes over many years. As always, we believe in the power of faith. Pikeville Medical Center, where cancer can be defeated. And while shelter staff continues to find homes for pets, Robert says they are still in need of supplies. We always uh, need the kitty litter. Um, yeah, meow mix is what we use, um, and kitten chow, and Alpo dog food, because we, we like to keep um, the animals on the same food. And that just helps with their digestion and uh, things of that nature. It just it just keeps them, uh, you know, steady and healthy. Um, so we like to keep them on set if possible. I mean, we appreciate anything. If you would like to adopt or donate, you can contact the shelter at wowanimalshelter at gmail.com. You can also reach the shelter at 606-297-7387 or pets. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Horgel.